I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a multiple choice question on circle theorem. We are given a triangle which is inscribed in a semicircle. So this triangle is inscribed in the semicircle. That means the longest side which you see here is the diameter. Write an expression for area AR of the shaded portion of this shaded portion. That's the first part. And the second part is a multiple choice question. Calculate area if diameter is 20 centimeters. These are your five choices. Okay. Now, getting back to circle theorem. If I have a triangle in a semicircle, then it is always going to be a right triangle. Right? Remember that. Second, uh, we are given actually these two sides as equal sides. So it's an isosceles triangle. So, so these angles are 45 degrees. Okay. Now, uh, let's begin from here. We need to find an expression for area of the shaded portion. So what is that? Area of circle. So area of shaded portion is equal to area of circle. Take away, let's say circle, right? Take away area of the triangle. Is it okay? That is what it is. So area of circle is pi r square. Pi r square. Right. If r is the radius, what we are actually given is that diameter is 20. So let me write down here, diameter is 20 centimeters. So radius is 10 centimeters, half of diameter. Minus area of triangle. Now how do we calculate area of triangle? That's a big issue. I'd like you to think about right triangle 45 degrees. So let me sketch one here. Okay, uh, the idea is to, you know, whenever you are getting prepared for test, these things come handy. If I take these sides as 1, 1, then the side will be square root 2, okay? Now let me make another triangle here, which will be even better to work with, okay? If I divide everything by square root 2, I get 1 here, here I get 1 over square root 2, and this side will be 1 over square root 2, right? So this is uh, when these sides are equal or similar to what is given to us. Now that is, if the side hypotenuse is 1, the other sides are 1 divided by square root 2. So if hypotenuse is 20, then the other sides will be 20 divided by square root 2. Does it make sense to you, right? So that becomes the side of the triangle and area of triangle is what? Let's use this space to, you know, just recall. Area of triangle is half base times height. In our case, it is half. Base is one of these sides, not the hypotenuse, right? So it is 20 over square root 2 times height is also 20 over square root 2, correct? So we can write down area of the triangle as half base one of these let's call this as a b c okay then a b and b c are the two sides to be taken right so times 20 over square root 2 times base is 20 and height is also same 20 over square root 2 do you get it so i hope this step is absolutely clear right 20 over square root 2 okay uh, in fact, uh, I'm sorry, I just uh, went uh, a step ahead. I should have written an expression for area first. Okay, so so let's just, we'll redo this. So circle area is pi r square minus area of the triangle will be half. Now, 20 what we were writing was the diameter. So let me write this as diameter over square root 2 times diameter over square root 2, correct? So, so that is what each side is, right? So, which should be equals to pi r square. We want function in r, diameter is 2r, right? So, we can write this as minus half. Now, square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. And for diameter, I'll write 2r times 2r. Is it okay? 
So these twos cancel off. We are left with r square. So we'll get pi r square minus r square. Perfect. Or we can say area in terms of radius is r square is common. I mean r square is common. Pi minus 1. Pi minus 1. So that becomes the expression for area, right? Now let's calculate the area of diameter is 20. Let's do the next part. So area when diameter is 20 means radius is 10. Will be 10 square times pi is 3.14 minus 1. So it becomes 100 times 2.14 or 214. And the units will be centimeters square, right? So so C is the right option, correct? So I hope that helps you to recall or recollect old concepts and solve such questions. Very important to get them all together when you do such uh, uh, multiple choice questions. Hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments, share my videos and subscribe if you like. Thank you and all the best.